Inside this box is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Let's get it open and see what's inside. EcoFlow are sponsoring this video, but all comments and opinions are all my own. Straight away, we see a little box of goodies. We'll check that out in a moment. Oh, then we have the quick start guide and a warranty card. And we have a bit of packaging. And then we actually have the Delta itself. Oh. Now they give you two handles to pick it up and it weighs 23 kilograms or 50 pounds and apparently it is 30% lighter than any similar power stations on the market. So in this little box you get your AC power adapter, you get your car cigarette accessory charger cable and you also get the DC5521 to DC5525 cable. On the right side you get an air vent and on the left side you also get an air vent however you also get two plugs for an additional batteries that you can also purchase. On the back you get various charging ports here including the AC, the car adapter port and the solar panel port. You get four AC plugs and you also get a 12 volt car accessory outlet port and two DC5521 12 volt ports. On the front you get the display screen, two normal USB-A output ports, and two fast charging USB-A output ports, and two USB-C 100 watt ports, and also the on and off button. Now the Delta 2 Max has a 2400 watt pure sine wave inverter which with the Xboost technology can boost it to 3100 watts but of course don't forget not all appliances will be able to use the Xboost. It has a surcharge of 4800 watts. The LifePo 4 battery has a 2048 watt hour capacity and is expandable to 6,144 watt hours. Now I'm going to power it on now and when I do that I'm going to then test it with this 950 watt heater and this 2,500 to 3,000 watt kettle. So to turn it on you just need to press this button here and as you can see, it's got almost 30% left in its battery capacity. So the on button for the AC is around the back, so I need to turn that on. And when I turn on the heater now, see what happens. The output has gone up to 440 watts, 500 watts. So it's now leveled out at 674, 75 watts. And it says we have currently 45 minutes left on the battery. If I turn that off and now turn on the kettle, Straight away, it's gone up to 2,360 watts there. And the battery's only going to last 12 minutes, so that kettle better boil pretty quickly. Now, here's the big test. We know that the Delta 2 Max can power both of these high-powered devices, but what happens when we try to use both of them? Put the heater on first. And now the kettle. It says we have 11 minutes of charge left. It's back down to 26% battery capacity. Both of them are going. We're using 2,450 watts. That's warm air coming out of there. That's steam coming out of there. I mean, I've only got like a, a cup and a half, a mug full of water in there, enough to make a coffee, you know. I was expecting it to trip, but it hasn't done that at all. It is still working, and that's about to 
finished boiling. The fans have just kicked in and I can barely hear them. Microphone is now next to the fan. The heat is still going. Let me turn that off. Of course, the fans are going to be variable, but that is very quiet. It's very quiet, but it might change when we plug it into the AC to charge it. And talking of charging, the Delta II Max should recharge from zero to 100% in 80 minutes from the wall socket but I'm going to test that later. Also what you can do is charge it from up to an amazing a staggering amount of 1000 watts, watts of solar. That is incredible. That's more than any other power station that I've ever seen. But not only that it does dual charging as well. So if you've got some solar panels you can attach them They'll be charging, it'll be charging from them, but also you can plug in the AC as well. So you can charge it very quickly indeed, from zero to 80%, I thought it, I think it is in about 40 minutes. Like all of the EcoFlow products, the Delta II Max it can be connected via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to your phone app. So let's just open the EcoFlow app here. and uh, automatically it comes up, it recognizes that there is a Delta II Max nearby. So I'm gonna hit add for there. I'm gonna skip the Wi-Fi, connecting to Wi-Fi section. That allows me to be able to control the device when I'm nowhere near it. So connecting it to Wi-Fi means that it will be able to be on the internet and you can connect it when you're away from it. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Skip that setup. Okay, it set, tells me it, everything I need to know and copies whatever is on this display here. Uh, currently have nothing connected to it, so let's turn on the heater again, see what happens. So you can see that it says the output is 200, 460, 490, 500 watts. We also have some settings here. Allows me to rename it, can turn off the beeps, which I find annoying. The screen timeout, let's just change that to uh, never for the moment for use of recording and a whole load of other information. I can even set the temperature unit, so from centigrade to Fahrenheit. A lot, I've not noticed this before, but there are a few automatic timeouts. So if I want the uh, AC to that heater there to only be used for 12 hours of the day, I can do that. If I tap the amount of output watts, I got a more of a detailed screen and I can actually turn on and off certain devices. So I can actually switch off the heater by pressing this. Brilliant. Okay, before I tell you how much it costs, what do I think about it? Well, first of all, I would like to see some wireless charging on the top. So you could just place a phone on there and it'll start charging. However, I have not seen that kind of functionality for a while in power stations, especially this size. And I think the reason for that is it's just quicker to plug in a cable. I mean, if you've got this hanging around, then why not just plug a cable in? I think that's probably the reason. I could be completely wrong though. Obviously, it's very large and very heavy. It's quite a decent form factor, actually, but, and of course, it's got the two handles to carry it around with. But what I don't like about it very much at all is it's got two sides to it. So all, everything gets plugged into the back, and then you've got all the things on the front. I would have preferred them so they've got the detail, you've got the display and the, all the slots and the power button on the front, which they are, along with all the other connectors. So I can just plug it in. I mean, at the moment, what I need to do is reach around the back. If the back is against the wall or something out of my eye, my view, then I'm going to have to fiddle around trying to find the socket to plug, the, uh, to plug my heater in or whatever. That's what I don't like about it. Same goes for charging. All the charging ports are on the back, which I don't mind so much because they could be always, always plugged in. 
So, uh, how much does it cost? It costs a, just under £1,900, which actually is cheaper than others in its class that I've noticed. And with that, you get a five-year warranty. So, let's go and find out how quickly this can charge by just plugging it into the wall. And we're going to start off with at 0%. So this might be seconds for you, but I've got to actually use it for a few days to get it drained. While charging, the fans did come on and they were louder. However, I still felt that they were very quiet. Charging finished from 0 to 100% in 80 minutes. Now, if you're interested in the Delta 2 Max, I'll leave an affiliated link in the video description and you can go there and check out the specs and maybe even purchase one. And if there's any discount codes, I'll put them in the description as well. So, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and even subscribe if you think this video has earned it. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.